I have been eyeing free mocap for a while now because all the demos I've seen from the creator John Matisse looks really good. Like almost unbelievably good. Like is that even possible level of good? But I have not seen it being put to the test for what I would consider to be the most difficult and yet most common test of them all. Constant turning. I finally got the time to test this technology out for myself. It took a while because this technology requires a large marker board to be printed for lens and positional calibration. And I didn't have immediate access to a larger scale printer. And also, note to self, next time, print an even bigger version. The bigger it is, the easier it is for the various cameras to recognize the pattern from a distance. Okay? Take note. Ideally, you should use a minimum of three cameras to better triangulate and capture movements from all angles. But since I only have access to two decent cameras at the moment, this will have to do with the understanding that there will be some calculation failures along the way. The creator had mentioned that you can use cheap webcams and I did end up buying a number of them for $12 a piece because I thought it would work. Unfortunately, it didn't work for me. So anybody want some crappy webcams? Cause I'm throwing them away. Let's put it to the test now. Again, why am I not doing crazy movements and instead just mostly turning round and round? Because it is very easy to capture body movements when your arms and legs are spread out because the outline of the body can be more easily detected by the algorithm that way. What I am more interested in is the true measure of a non-marker based motion capture system. Namely, the ability to capture turning motions. Most non-marker based AI motion capture systems fail at this. Yet, it is one of the most common day-to-day -day actions humans do turning around and changing directions. To my joy and amazement, using only just two decent cameras, Free Mocap managed to achieve this relatively effortlessly. Had I added just one more camera, the quality will probably have improved even more as there will be more frame of reference from yet another angle. However, I'm pretty sure that no matter how many cameras one uses, the foot will always be going in and out and sliding along the floor. This seems to be an inevitability across all motion capture solutions regardless of what contemporary technologies you're using and is something that have to be fixed in post-production which I didn't bother to do here. You can also see that the system even attempted to capture the movement of my fingers, but no, no. It will be better to utilize an actual motion capture glove system, or just animate it yourself. All in all, I am really happy with the results. Free mocap works really well. I can definitely see myself using free mocap for my humanoid type animations. Thank you John Matisse for creating this wonderful solution. This is Bracel Jack signing off and I will leave you with the full raw capture clip from start to finish so that you can make up your own mind about this system.